Long-Term Test Review, Honda Jazz First report, Honda Jazz Super Mini has a tough rival to beat as it joins our fleet. Verdict 4 Star The Honda Jazz has a lot to prove next to the Suzuki Balano we're also running, but first impressions are good. It's likable, well-equipped and pleasant to drive, despite a couple of niggles. We'll be putting the space to the test, although time will tell if the Honda can shake off its state image. Mileage, 1012. Economy, 47.2 mpg. We always make sure we run a diverse group of cars on the Auto Express fleet, from pickup trucks to lightweight sports cars and executive saloons to hybrids, they have all been subjected to extended tests by our team over the past few months. But the latest arrival in our car park, the Honda Jazz, has given us a chance to live with two very similar models back to back. Picture editor Don Grant is five months into running a Suzuki Balano, while I've only just taken custody of the Jazz, yet this is the benchmark the Honda has to beat, so what better way to set its stall out than with a quick comparison? Both these small cars are aimed at the more rational, practical end of the super mini market, offering impressive levels of space and versatility. Neither the Jazz nor the Balano makes much of an attempt to be sporty, and both have an honest, no-nonsense charm as a result. Targeting the same kind of buyers means the Jazz and Balano have faced off before, so when welcoming the Honda to our fleet it felt like a good idea to revisit what it needs to deliver over the next six months. Our top spec X Navi model matches the Balano for standard equipment. Both cars come fitted with a touch screen sat NAV, as well as climate control, a DAB radio and a rear view camera. However, the Suzuki's cruise control is adaptive unlike the Jazz's conventional system. Autonomous emergency braking is included as standard as well, but we've already found the system sometimes too keen to warn of potential collisions, even in its most relaxed setting. We think the Jazz is the bolder choice in our test model Sunset Orange Paint Finish a no-cost option while inside the Honda has more of a solid and expensive feel than the Suzuki. And so it should. At £16,755 it costs £2,506 more than the Balano no amount of soft touch plastic on the dashboard can make up for that. Plus, as we found out when we tested the two models together, the Suzuki's punchy 1.0-liter turbo petrol feels faster and more modern than the Jazz's 1.3-liter non-turbo unit. But the Honda's engine isn't without its charm. Peak torque doesn't arrive until a heady 5,000 RPM, meaning you have to keep it on the boil to make progress. It's helped by the sweet 6-speed manual gearbox, which allows you to really make the most of the Jazz's modest 101 bhp output. Even though there's no turbocharger to improve efficiency, fuel economy has been good. So far I'm averaging an impressive 47.2 mpg over a mix of driving. The Honda is more fun to drive than you might expect thanks to its accurate steering, although there's plenty of body roll and the ride can be a little skittish around town. It's the space I'm looking forward to putting to the test most, though. The Jazz will frequently find itself fully loaded with luggage for airport runs, where the magic seats in the rear are sure to come into their own, or crammed with five full-sized adults when I'm called on to ferry friends around, so it'll need to be versatile. Key Specs Model, Honda Jazz 1.3 IVTEC X Navi On fleet since October 2016. Price new, £16,755. Engine, 1.3 liter 4 CYL petrol 101 bhp. CO2 slash tax, 120 G slash km slash pound 30. Options, floor mats, £75. Insurance asterisk, group, 13 E slash quote, 480 pounds. Mileage, 1,012. Economy, 47.2 mpg. Any problems, sensitive tire pressure warning system.